Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into the Lunar New Year Challenge inside of Clash Royale, where I've been playing this giant graveyard deck to a ton of wins in a row. That's right, we've been stomping our way through this Lunar New Year Challenge. If you guys haven't checked it out already, there's three stages to it, starting with Single Elixir, then Double Elixir, and then finally the final stage, finally the final stage, is going to be Ramp Up, where you go from one to two to three Elixir by the end of the battle. Now, the deck that I've been playing is this giant graveyard deck that I've cruised through the first two challenges. I actually haven't lost a battle so far. So I wanted to continue on to the final stage right now where you can actually end up winning a legendary chest and hopefully we get a royal ghost inside of it. Let's do it. One more look at this deck. Giant Graveyard Poison is obviously the staple of your combo. You can do Cannon Card Graveyard though, Mega Minion Graveyard. Obviously, you've got some great defensive cards inside of this deck. The one card that's notably missing is a Log or a Zap, so it can be a little bit tough if you're dealing with certain cards that require uh, those counters. But let's just go ahead and start this off right now against Baby Wizard and to see if we can get the action going. Now, this deck was really, really strong for me in single, single and double Elixir. I think during Triple Elixir, it definitely could struggle a little bit more. Um, just seeing as Graveyard, people will be able to cycle to their counter quicker and quicker so it could lead to a lot of problems but anyways we're gonna keep trying it out right now baby wizards actually gonna be dri or dripping elixir because so far we've gained two elixir from doing basically nothing we're gonna take this lumberjack down to zero in a moment which is gonna work great I'm gonna play our giant in front of this uh, in front of this cannon cart right here go for a graveyard and see what we can get out of this now if he has bats we've got tornado looks like he's just gonna drop his inferno dragon which is uh, very interesting it's gonna go ahead and break the shield and then reset its targeting which is so so good for us that looks like the night which is actually gonna take a lot of damage too we've got four bats that our mega minions gonna have to deal with but already we've already taken his first tower out and we've taken zero damage on our side of the map now double elixir is on its way now so let's make sure we keep our cool he's gonna play his golem as we thought he might so we're gonna have to deal with this golem this deck actually works really well against golem ice wizard tornado cannon uh cart you've got plenty of counters to play against it the poison spell as well and uh let's see how we want to get this one done i mean i could go super aggressive but i'm just gonna go for the poison spell right now and wow he's just gonna face feed me some value here right now guys let's just go ahead and throw a tornado down the cannon cart already blasting on that side we've got mega minion and another tombstone to deal with this lumberjack that inferno dragon so close and finally going down to zero and uh, this should basically be the end of the game since we're ahead so much elixir let's just go ahead and go for a giant graveyard push to finish this one off strong those inferno dragons haven't really been doing much all game our cannon cart and ice wizard are going to run forward to the finish guys and that should be the end of this one and a merciful defeat in the first two minutes not bad at all we uh, completely decimated our way through this battle finishing it off one minute and 59 seconds into action we actually didn't even get to triple elixir uh which is super surprising but that's why this deck works well uh it just crushes its way through your opponents you actually get a pretty good amount of rewards for this challenge as well Three thousand gold right there i'll take that any time of the week even though our gold is already maxed out and let's go and get into battle number two and keep showing you guys why this deck dominates if you guys have a good deck that you've been using in the lunar new year challenge let me know in the comment section below and I'm gonna go ahead and get this started off with the tombstone. Uh, Furnace is actually gonna be, you know, it's gonna not do the best against the tombstone. We can at least hold him off for a while while we just let our tombstone build up. We're gonna play our giant in the back. I don't normally like starting off with our tombstone just because, you know, while the tombstone ticks away, uh, it, it can actually be a waste of three elixir, but so far this battle is looking pretty good. And uh, let's just go ahead and get our cannon cart ready and really start to put in some work. This is gonna be a true test right here. We've got our graveyard going right now. What in the world was that? Oh my lord. He's going to throw a Goblin Barrel Bat Goblin Gang combination. So I'm just going to go for a tornado to clean that all up as soon as I have the money for it. Meanwhile, my skeletons are terrorizing this tower on this side right here. Oh, this giant skeleton is going to be no fun and blow up our cannon cart, but that's still going to be okay. We're not going to be able to take that tower down to zero, and uh, that's going to be the end of that first tower. So all we need is a poison spell plus like one more hit, and that tower is going to be golden. Now we need to keep our cool because... I think this deck probably lowers in efficiency as we go on throughout our challenge. So I'm going to get our poison spell going down right now. Predicting the goblin gang. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to hit it. Giant's going to keep moving forward. Uh, his giant skeleton's going to go in here. So not really the best poison value, which set us a little bit back. But I'm going to get our tombstone going in. I'm going to get our cannon cart in a very peculiar position right here. PPP. Looks like we'll be able to clean this up pretty well. Giant skeleton's going to die. Goblins are dying very nicely right there. And uh, that's going to be the end of that push with really not too much damage done for all that he invested. Now, I'm going to go for a graveyard. He really hasn't shown a great ability to deal with our graveyard, so he's probably going to play his Goblin Gang. No, he goes for the Prince right there instead of playing his Goblin Gang on, start, on top of our Cannon Cart. So I'll just use, go ahead and use our Mega Minion to clean this up. His Log's going to go down. Probably at this point, we should look at damaging the other side. 
instead of going so aggressive uh, over here. But looks like he's going to play his Goblin Barrel in the back. That's going to buy him a little bit of time, but still should be okay for us. I've got our Giant. Now we really have to spam. So here goes our Giant Graveyard. And uh, this is where we need to put in some work. Poison's going to go in. We're going to catch that Goblin Gang. At the same time, I really need to be sure. I still haven't taken that right-hand tower, which is a little bit questionable uh, on our end. We still have our Giant that's just going to be banging away on this left-hand side. But guys, this is going to be a little bit more difficult than we anticipated. And double Prince action is going to come down. I just misplayed a Giant. I'm going to have to eat that Goblin Barrel damage and really find a way to get this one done because, man, we're in a, we're in a sticky situation right now. Now, Tombstone's going to go down. Double Prince should die pretty effectively there. Poison Spell going to go down as well. But still, we haven't conquered that right-hand side, and that Poison Spell definitely is not going to be enough. Let's get our Cannon Cart going in just to try to do something. It's going to be able to block him at the bridge. So we're going to take this Goblin Barrel damage just because we know we can win this game after it. That's going to be GG well played. And even though it was a little bit closer than the first one, we're still going to be able to make our way to a victory. So we didn't have Log inside of that deck. And that's when things get difficult against the Goblin Barrel. You can tornado the Goblin Barrel to your King Tower, but I didn't really have a good opportunity in single or double elixir to get that done just because I was already so busy using my tornadoes on defense. But still, easy dubs. Let's move on to battle number three. And uh, this is why this deck works so well. It, it just crushes its way through a lot of these meta decks right now. And I'm really excited to see what's changed since the new balancing changes came out. If you guys saw today, balancing changes did come out inside of the game. Lots of different cards got nerfs and buffs. And, uh, you know, we're just going to have to see how this affects us. But it looks like we've got some juicy cannon cart on cannon cart action. Now, how is he going to protect his cannon cart? Or really, is he? He's going to go for a miner right here. Miner against our cannon cart is an animalistic move. But he has the P.E.K.K.A. Oh, man. This battle just got a whole lot more interesting. This P.E.K.K.A. is going to be a very big nuisance for us to deal with, guys. He's going to play his gang right now. So let's just get ready in a moment. going to let this P.E.K.K.A. just find its way to our side of the map, but uh, yeah, so P.E.K.K.A. obviously does really, really well against the Giant. However, it's definitely not a death sentence for us. Uh, we've got plenty of other opportunities to use our Graveyard. Um, I think it would be more of a death sentence if he has Poison than this P.E.K.K.A., which he still very well could have inside of this deck, but let's just keep optimistic right now with our Tombstone. Ice Wizard is going to go in. Very nice position from him. He's going to go for his Executioner, so let's go for a Graveyard on the left-hand side of the map. He did not stop our Cannon Card at the bridge, so we're going to get these Skeletons cleaning up right now, and wow, that was a very aggressive Tornado right there to where I think we we actually made a positive elixir trade right there so anytime you can make a positive elixir trade while getting 800 HP worth of damage on their map is uh, is really nicely done alright executioner gonna go ahead and move forward double executioner already going down right now still has not played his uh his P.E.K.K.A. offensively, or in any other facet. I'm going to poison down these goblins, get a little bit of value for one elixir right there. Not the worst thing in the world. Cannon Cart's going to come down over here, so obviously we're going to have to match that with our own Cannon Cart. But here goes his P.E.K.K.A., and we're going to have to find a way to get this done. Now, instead of doing what you guys might think, I'm going to go for a Cannon Cart on this side. I'm going to let this P.E.K.K.A. make its way over right now. Swinging its way to this side, it's still going to be a little bit difficult for us. I'm going to use our Ice Wizard to try to clean up this P.E.K.K.A. and get it running towards our favor. Looks like it's going to work pretty well. Goblin Gang will take care of our Cannon Card, but still, time to go for aggressive with our Graveyards, guys. Time to, you know, make plays. This is really the time to make plays right now. Poison Spell is going to go down in this Executioner. Cannon Card's still burning down this, uh, that Executioner as well. Our Cannon Card that died on our side of the map is going to clean up this P.E.K.K.A. And guys, Cannon Card is the name of the game. I've said Cannon Card at least 100 times inside of this battle, and there's a reason because we are just steamrolling him with these Cannon Cards, guys. Let's go for another Graveyard. He can't be aggressive if we keep playing Graveyards over and over again. Or can he? He's going to go for his push right now. Let's see what he gets done. Going to need to play our Mega Minion. We're going to avoid the Miner at all costs. Let's use our Tornado plus everything else to really get some value in right here. Cannon Cart now is dead. And taking a look at its range, it's definitely not onto our, uh, our Arena Tower. So that's going to be GG well played. And uh, that should be the end of this one, guys. Clean victories right here. And uh, definitely not too much of a concern of winning these battles. We stayed cool. We stayed calm. We stayed collected. And uh, using this deck, it led us to an easy win. All right. One more battle. One more battle to keep the pain train rolling right now with this giant graveyard deck. Definitely one of my favorite decks uh, that I've been playing today since the balancing changes came out. I definitely want to try a free spell. Free spell is a card that I haven't played for a while. I've been meaning to put it inside of a video. So be sure to look for that sometime soon. But Alberto TWD is going to be our final opponent. And, uh, you know, I'm going to start with a tombstone. I, like, normally, I, I keep saying I hate starting with tombstone but for some reason inside of this challenge i find myself playing it let's let that tombstone walk forward as these zappies charge their, themselves up right now he's going to get ready with his uh, miner so we'll just go ahead and keep putting in some work with our ice wizard we're actually going to play our giant as well he just went super aggressive right there with his uh 
with his poison spell. So time to make some plays and let's see what he's going to do against our giant push. Look at this. He's got a P.E.K.K.A. But guys, we've got some time to steamroll with our graveyard right here. I'm going to let him get that P.E.K.K.A. chopping down our giant. But look at these skeletons putting in work. I don't care if you have Zap. I don't care if you have Log because we've got so many skeletons coming for you right now. That 7 Elixir P.E.K.K.A. is going to die. We've still got the Mega Minion with a little bit of HP. That tower now is within a poison or two. It's going to be two poisons because we don't have the Log. Or, uh, or anything else. And it would have been close either way, but let's get another tombstone going down right now. And uh, see if we can continue doing what we're doing. Now, this is an aggressive poison, but you gotta make plays if you wanna win the game, guys. Let's keep that in mind. Cannon Cart's gonna go down onto this miner. It's gonna be a six elixir for a five elixir trade, not bad. Plus the Cannon Cart should help us out against these zappies, I think. Actually, I'm a little scared to let those zappies get too close. But no, look, the Cannon Cart's gonna turn around and help out. Very nicely done. And guys, what are we gonna do on offense? But the Graveyard once again. You don't always have to care about what your opponent's gonna play. You can just go hard with the Graveyard. The Ice Golem's gonna be slowing down that P.E.K.K.A. Look at this P.E.K.K.A. right now. If I wanted to style on him, I would tornado that P.E.K.K.A. all the way backwards, but as you guys know, I'm very kind and I would never do that to an opponent. Ice Wizard's gonna go down onto these uh, Zappies. Just get a little bit more out of them. We've got a Cannon Cart to follow up in a moment against the rest of his push. Flying Machine going in. Wow, we've gotta take care of that. Uh, guys, I meant to play a cannon cart instead of a defensive graveyard right there, so that might be the end of our tower. Very unfortunate gameplay from the Chief himself. Oh man, we, uh, we were completely dominating this battle before we played that, and now this flying machine's gonna lock on. So that's gonna be the end of this tower, and man, have we, uh, made mistakes right there. Alright, we're gonna play a cannon cart. He's going so aggressive, so I'm gonna play my poison spell. I'm gonna get an Ice Wizard down right here. Should be okay. Tornado's gonna be able to clean a lot of this up. Mega Minion on top of this Miner. Definitely have to cycle back to our Poison because we need to take care of that right-hand tower. So let's make sure we don't forget about that. And as he goes in on this side, I'll just play a Tombstone Poison spell, and that should be enough. And man, that P.E.K.K.A. is gonna take a lot of damage. He definitely did not want to play that there because now our Mega Minion is going to clean up his Flying Machine. Two hits from the Mega Minion to kill the Flying Machine, which feels really good, by the way. I didn't even know that was a thing until recently. And guys, time to finish off the game in style. That's going to be GG well played with the Graveyard Giant combo. And a definitely... Wait, okay, wait. He has Poison Spell. All right, I was trying to swag on him right there. You guys know I try to throw a little swag out at the very end of the battles. Giant's going to punch that in the face for GG well played. And that's going to wrap it up. Guys, if you want a deck to get easy wins with inside of this Lunar New Year Challenge, this is definitely the one to do it with. Giant Graveyard, so, so good. Uh, obviously, even in double, single, and triple elixir. People try to, like, pick decks for triple elixir. They try to pick decks for single elixir. And it really just doesn't work out. So, let's just go ahead and open up this uh, mystery chest. Did I say mystery chest? Magical chest right now to see what we get. We're going to get the Young Bowler, the Royal GG, but no legendary cards for us. And uh, that is going to do it for this episode. One last peek. Give this deck a look if you want to try it out. But that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.